welcome to Camden Town, which is often referred to as just Camden for short. Camden Town shouldn't be confused, however, with the borough of Camden, because while Camden Town is within the borough, the borough actually includes several other areas, including Hampstead and King's Cross and the area around Euston. The area was first laid out as a residential district in 1791, and it was economically important thanks to the canal links, as well as the local transportation links, as the train system was growing at this time. For the first few centuries of its existence, Camden wasn't really a great area to visit. All of that changed in the 1960s when lots of artists, writers and other creatives moved to the area. It was in the 1970s that the Camden Market, which is now world famous, was created. This is actually comprised of several markets and today lots of people come here from all over the world to experience the alternative culture. There's lots of tattoo shops here, the golf scene, the nightclubs and also there's so many students who live here. When I lived in London around 10 years ago as a student, this is where I lived. In today's video, we're going to show you the best things to do in Camden as well as where to visit and the best places to eat. The dog found some food. This is Primrose Hill and it's considered by many to be the best view in London. The park was first opened to the public in 1842 and can now be found north of Regent's Park. In the summer, this is a really popular place for locals to have picnics and the rest of the year you get to see the changing of the seasons as well as amazing views onto the city beyond. This is a great place to start your day in Camden because from here it's just a 15 minute walk to reach Camden Town. So let's head there now. The tree directly behind me is known as Shakespeare's Oak. It was planted in 1864 to commemorate the 300th anniversary since Shakespeare's birth. Unfortunately, that tree didn't survive that long and so it was replanted in 1964 and as you can see, has grown to quite a large size since that date. The Primrose Hill residential area is also pretty lovely to stroll through. There's loads of pastel hued houses here and it feels like a mini Notting Hill. While you're in the area, do be sure to look out for all of the blue plaques, which signify where someone important lived in the past. It's currently the end of September and there's honestly something so cozy about visiting London around this time, all of the full foliage, fewer tourists than during the summer and all together the perfect vibes to go to a cafe. Another highlight of the Camden Town area is the Regent's Canal. This is a very long canal which dates back to the beginning of the 19th century and is basically a walker's paradise in the heart of London. You can see the ducks go past, you can see some very interesting architecture, admire the houseboats and altogether enjoy a little moment away from the hustle and bustle of everyday London life. A 
I didn't realize this, but you can also go on a boat ride along the canal. And so make sure to book that in advance if that's something you want to do. It's also a great rainy day activity because the boats are actually covered. Camden Market is actually comprised of three different markets, Camden Lock, Hawley Wharf and also the Stables Market. They all run into each other and in total there are around a thousand stalls to explore. There's clothes, food, vintage things, all kinds of things. And if you want to eat here, which I highly recommend you do, each vendor has a display of what their food looks like directly outside of their stand. And so you can see exactly what you're about to buy. This also means if you all want to eat different cuisines, that's totally possible. You can all go to the different stalls you want to go to and then find a table all together in the middle. So at the market, Antoine got some tacos, which were apparently very good but because they didn't have any vegetarian options, I took a vegan corn dog and it was only okay. If you're headed to Camden by tube, then the first place you'll reach is Camden Tube Station. From here, you'll walk down the street all the way to get to the market and the lock. And it's also on this street where you'll find lots of the typical souvenir shops. To be honest, they're all quite generic for the most part. And so if you're looking for a souvenir, I would wait until you get to the market. With that being said, while you're walking along the street, make sure to look out for the Music Walk of Fame as there are lots of little plaques on the street as of a few years ago, celebrating various UK artists. much like East London. And if you're interested in that area, then you can check out our video. This area is also full of amazing street art. So almost around every turn, you'll find cool murals and paintings and graffiti. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.